Hello and welcome my beautiful Pisces. Brenda here with your general weekly forecast for October the 23rd to the 29th. This is your tarot and oracle card forecast. Keep in mind this is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every fish out there in the sea. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. <clears throat> okay. Coming in with your first card, Pisces, you've got a great card. Ten of Pentacles, happiness beyond anything you can compare it to. You're going to be busy with choices and decisions. Don't allow them to overwhelm you. Focus on what is going to work out. In the center position, don't give up. <clears throat> you may have reached a point where you felt like giving up. And at the end of the day, something's going to end and you're going to change it to move on in a brand new direction with the death card. That's rebirth. And you have the hierophant. So you've got spirit. Spirit has your back. You're going to be bringing new people into the equation. Let's see what we have coming in underneath these messages with these additional cards. What do we have here coming in underneath these additional cards? Spirit, what does Pisces need to see, know, and expect? My beautiful mermaids and mermen. You've got the Queen of Swords underneath the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> You've got change, of, change of, uh, of momentum here with the Eight of Wands coming in under the decision card of the Seven of Cups. Struggling here again. <clears throat> this is both twice in a row in the center position. The Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. You've got this four, Five of Cups coming in under the Death card, but you're going to change that. And the King of Rods coming in here as, <clears throat> as you move forward towards your goals to stay focused. Let's see what we have here for your all over <clears throat> download message. Go for it. Oh, Pisces, don't hesitate. This is about you going for your goal, not being afraid, stepping out there, swimming, even if you have to swim against the current to get where you want to go. This is beautiful. All right, coming in with your oracle message, your energy card for this reading. And this is the animal spirit deck. I love this deck. It's really, really beautiful. Let's see what we have here. One card, please, Spirit, for my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Okay. Flipped over. There you go. You have Pisces, the White Raven Spirit, Trust in Magic. Love it. So that's an interesting card, and I don't think I've had that very often um, coming up at all in my other readings. So it's interesting. We'll see what happens with this reading as we move forward, Pisces. Okay. We've got the go for it card. So this is about moving forward. And I talked about the eight of wands here and making choices and decisions to do things possibly different. Um, but you definitely are going to pick up momentum and you're going to be going after something here. Uh, you know, your goals, your passion, your projects, perhaps even a relationship you're working on or you want to see come into fruition in your life. The universe and the powers that be Pisces are telling you don't be afraid. Step up. Like I said, even if you have to swim against the current to get up that stream to go after what you want don't back down coming in with your energy message from the oracle cards you've got the white raven spirit and this is truth in the magic so you need to align with your highest good and intentions <clears throat> and you will come to see that the White Raven is guiding you, an ally to you and a messenger from spirit here. So this is, we know that white is a beautiful color of purity and clarity and, ha and, and lighting our path. And this is about aligning with the light. And we will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the eyes can't always see and the mind can't always comprehend. The universe is conspiring on our behalf right now drawing us to the light and bringing us the magic and miracles that are our birthright. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. And now is the time to go for it, Pisces. We need to step up and do this. So we need to pay attention to how things come together as if by magic. And we will see the hand of the great spirit arranging things in our favor. So we're being protected. We're being guided. We're being watched. And um, we need to listen to those download messages that spirit's bringing us to guide us forward this week. So we need to trust, trust in our goals, trust in our passion, trust in the direction we're going and trust our guides and spirit are leading us there. When we ask for them for guidance, we need to trust that. 
and go for it while you're going for it Pisces aren't we this is the ten of pentacles happiness ultimate happiness moving towards our goals here and not <clears throat> and not looking back you know being you need to commend yourself Pisces for as far as you've come to this point you've worked hard for your goals and you're, you're starting to see accomplishment coming in here now when the ten of pentacles shows up it's ultimate happiness and abundance but it also refers to happiness in 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 you know security and finances as well we're in the process of right now of, of building and establishing a lasting foundation of success. And sometimes it has to do with business. And that's what some of us are doing, perhaps. And the success is coming towards us. And it's going to give us this great material comfort and feeling of freedom. Also, our family life could be strong and secure at this time and peaceful too. Or our chosen family. Or even a community of people with whom we feel strongly related to. But we need to realize that in order to continue moving forward in a success direction we have to give grace and gratitude and thank thank and, and be thankful for what we have this is also about happiness it's about you know being able to have a sense of completion and happiness now tens are that they're the ends and new beginnings they're you know the end of something and a new beginning with another the queen of swords shows up on this and pisces you're in the process now of changing things up and you hear me say this almost every week but that's what so many of us are doing and in order to do that, you're having to cut things out. You're having to change things. You're having to let go of old ways of doing things. And you're moving forward. And you might be cutting out negative energy or a job that wasn't fulfilling or the way the job was. Or if you have your own business, you know, maybe you weren't satisfied with how, you know, you were you were getting clients generated to you or getting, um, you know, uh, you know, getting that attention brought towards your website or whatever the case is Pisces but now you're cutting things out and changing things and you're going in a new direction and you're not afraid to stand out there and let the world see who you're made of and what you have to offer doing that in a solo way not having to rely on other people to hold you up or to determine your happiness Pisces you're going after what you want and that means you're changing things completely you're not taking any more BS you're not allowing yourself to get caught up in other people's uh, problems and you're moving on and this is what's going to bring you this happiness now these changes are definitely positive the momentum is going to pick up with the eight of wands and that means get busy you're going to be hearing about a lot of contact or communication that could be Texas phone calls emails um, <clears throat> and even opportunities that might come up through word of mouth um, I, I can see you starting now getting really busy Pisces and I think you felt as though you had these big decisions and choices with the seven of cups to make you almost felt overwhelmed do I do this do I do that do I pick this option do I pick that option but now you realize Pisces that you have taken a serious account of what's important to you and you're applying all that effort and going for what it is you want you're going to be very busy Pisces and I think you're going to be pleased about that coming in in the center position you got a double message here ten of wands <clears throat> and the ten of swords both of these mean that you know, uh, you've had a lot of battles to fight, but now you, you know, and you didn't give up. The nine of wands says, don't give up. Don't roll over Pisces. Don't, don't say, well, and throw your hands over your head and say, well, this didn't work. I'm tired of it. And I'm not going to do it anymore. No, don't take your, 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 your ball and your bat and go home in a huff. This is about you stepping up Pisces and fighting for what you want, being courageous. You've created something fantastic here. Don't back down, keep moving forward. And that's, what's going to propel you. Don't take your troubles to bed Pisces. This is the 10 of swords here telling me that you could be taking your worries to bed with you um you know maybe a situation has ended here unfortunately endings always follow but by new beginnings so thank goodness you may feel sad or something that's transpired in the past but expect your circumstances now to shift and get better and improve it may take some time to change you know maybe it's time to change your career perhaps you've completed a long-term project or you've decided to pursue another employment don't put limits on what wonderful things the universe can give you, Pisces. You know, cast your net wide and see what fantastic opportunities you can catch. There's nowhere to go but up from here. This is about recovery. And also it's recovery from addictive behavior for some of us. Now, and some of you, because I, you know I'm a Pisces as well. So I usually refer to us and me in this reading. So Pisces, don't give up. You know, you fought hard for something. You've made some very important decisions here. You're going to get busy. You've given up something so you can have this happiness. Don't take your troubles to bed. Leave them on the chair because tomorrow's a better day. Coming in next, you have the death card. Yeah, you're definitely moving on. New direction, rebirth, transformation. And... <clears throat> 
And I think what's made this decision for you, Pisces, is you have been looking back, reminiscing and reflecting on things that weren't working out. Okay, um, Pisces, that's what we call stinking thinking, looking back and, and, and saying, well, you know, I, I did this and I did that and it didn't work. And, you know, thinking you're going to give up here and, you know, this is overwhelming me. But then you stepped up, Pisces, and you said, no, I'm moving on. I'm making those changes. I'm going to create something new. This is rebirth, Pisces. You're definitely going to move forward. Have <clears throat> have an open mind, excuse me, with this new opportunities of doors opening here and this new vision of a new beautiful beginning, Pisces. I like this. Now coming in at the end of the week, you have the Hierophant and you have the King of Rods. Now remember I said go for it here and trust that you can create what you want if you do. Well, this King of Rods we know is the most focused king out there. As I say, he goes big or he goes home. So you're definitely stepping up uh, your level here and stepping up to the, to, you know, uh, to to the to your your job here and the work that you're working on and it's full stream ahead so devote your energy and time pisces to the task at hand you're in a position of leadership and you should inspire and you will be able to inspire others with your enthusiasm it may also you may also be receiving advice from someone like this as well so pisces <clears throat> you are a natural born leader don't be afraid to step out there okay often the head of a, you could be often the head of a business or an organization that allows you to be innovative and accomplish great things so don't back down okay you have beautiful entrepreneurial skills here pisces use them you may be asked to step up and teach preach and convey or speak to a, in front of a group of people be courageous you're making a difference for other people as well pisces you know the hierophant steps up beautiful car and we know that the hierophant has to do with unity um, and working in groups that enrich us now <clears throat> and we drew this card because it's a time for us to expand your circle of friends or join a group for example you may want to enroll in a school or become part of a spiritual organization this is also an optimal time to make friends with supportive new people who have integrity and strong moral uh, issues as well like you do and beliefs it's also time to question and review any rules or restrictions or limited beliefs that have been placed around us in our current situation and you know what it's time that we step forward this can lift any previous blocks of manifesting if we just step up and go for our goals go for it just like that beginning card here the downloads message so you could be tapping into mentors and some some experts to ask for their uh, their guidance and you're searching for the meaning of something and often it's a meaning of life my beautiful pisces have faith have faith in yourself have faith in this group of people you could also be dealing with schools and spiritual institutions at this time so beautiful well this is our reading pisces and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Know that you can create the magic. Go for it, Pisces. Let go of that stinking thinking. Make those decisions that are going to benefit you. You can by, and that means walking away, starting a new beginning to reach for that Ten of Pentacles and all that happiness. Know that I send you lots of love and many blessings. And Pisces, I'll see you soon.